Hi, this is Dave T1963, and this is just going to be a real quick uh, trail camera tip uh, because I get a lot of questions as far as how do I store these things, what do I do in the off season, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, first of all, there is no off season for me. I run cameras all year round. Uh, I have different objectives during different times of year, but I've got cameras out right now. But typically, right after hunting season, I'll go in and I'll pull in January. A lot of the cameras that I've had soaking throughout the whole uh, hunting season on probably properties that I didn't get to hunt as much as I wanted to, but yet I wanted to keep track of maybe I've got a couple bucks located. I'm just trying to keep, you know, general track on what's going on with them, making sure they kind of live through the season and stuff. And then on some new properties, I'll go in and I'll, I'll put out several cameras to kind of try to figure out how deer are using that property throughout the hunting season. But... Once I get those in, what do I do with those cameras before I redeploy them? Well, I get these little Sterilite totes like this, and that's what I store my cameras in. And, uh, what, well, let me just get some cameras out here. These are all cameras I pulled last week, but, well, I don't have to take them all out. I'll, I'll just show you what I do. I put about an inch, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but I put about an inch of rice in the bottom of these containers. And I pull the batteries and I throw the camera, I pull the cards, the batteries and all that, and I throw the cameras right in here. And I'll leave them in there a week or two and that rice really helps draw out any moisture that might have accumulated inside the cameras. And cameras do get moisture on the inside of them. Another thing I, I do, if you've run trail cameras for any length of time at all, you know that woodpeckers like to hit these PIR uh, covers right here. I don't know, there's something about the PIR, maybe they see the flash or something occasionally or whatever that attracts woodpeckers for some reason. Anyway, they'll peck on this thing and a lot of times they'll actually peck a hole right in it. But I inspect these. Uh, most of the cameras, especially on browning, this is held in place with screws. I mean, you have to kind of take the camera apart and stuff, but it's not really sealed really good in there. And uh, so when, it, when it's compromised, when it's bent or a hole's poked in it, that allows moisture to get into that camera. So I always inspect these. I have a box with uh, plenty of these. I get five or ten of these at a time and keep them at all times. So that as I'm inspecting, I can replace these. And like I said, you got to take the camera apart to do that. Now, one of the things I do with them is when I install them back in there, I, I run a little bead of either hot glue or a little bit of silicone around there before I snap that in place. Yeah, it'll make it harder to get it out next time, but it also helps with the, you know, seal it even better for moisture. Another thing I do with my cameras, I have no intention on ever plugging these into my TV or whatever. So all these ports in the bottom and stuff like this, I fill those with either silicone or probably 90% of the time I put a clear hot melt glue in them. Once again, that just helps keep insects and moisture and all that from getting into the camera. So that the only real port that I have is where the SD card goes. So that, that's some of the general maintenance. Of course, I wipe them down, I clean them. I, I don't really take a whole lot to descent them, but I will take a, a rag with some of the descent spray and just wipe them down and put them in here. And then when I start handling them again, I, I typically do wear a cotton glove that I change every time I go out and, and check cameras. So I'm just trying to cut down on some of my human oil from getting on the camera and staying there. But you want to make sure you clean all these lenses, the camera lens and some of the flash elements and, and the PR, PIR lens with a good, you know, one of those little binocular white cloths is what I carry with me. I carry one of those every time I go out and check a camera out in the field too. So that's how I store my trail cameras. Uh, is it the best way? I don't know if it's the best way, but I'll tell you that rice really, really, really works well to get any kind of moisture out of your cameras. And something else I, I'm, I'll tell you about uh, rice. If you ever have a camera that dies because of moisture, I actually had one go underwater in a flood and it shut down, the camera shut down. So I took that camera and I but once again, I pulled the card, the batteries and all that, and I threw that in a box and I filled it up completely with rice. And I left that, oh, I don't know, it was probably two or three months. Actually, I kind of forgot about it. 
Well, I went back when I found it and, and put batteries in there, put a card in there, and that camera started working again. So if your camera didn't fry the circuit board when it got wet or whatever, if it just shut down from moisture, maybe the batteries went down or whatever, don't throw that camera away just because it got wet. Throw it in with some rice and stuff and try that first. It, it, is it always gonna work? Absolutely not. But in this case, it worked for me and it saved me a $200 camera. It was one of my special ops cameras that got flooded and it was actually under two foot of water when I pulled it. <laughs> Anyway, that's that's just my quick storage tip. Dave two one nine six three out.